I'm just trying to protect my neighborhood. Haven't seen you. Trayvon would have said, my daddy lives in this neighborhood. I know you're right. Yeah. And I'm on my way home. Exactly. All you have to do is ask the question. Don't profile him. Don't talk about him. Don't malign his character because he was a young black man with a hoodie on his head. But let me stop. Let me stop. Because last night at 1 o'clock in the morning, we had to calm the fears, the pains, and wipe the tears of our young people. Because they were ready to blow. And our vice chair, our president and CEO, and myself, we, we, we tried to, to put a calm on that unrest and to rechannel that energy, rechannel that emotion, and say, we need you to move in a positive direction. Because we've taught you how to channel that energy into leadership. Because we know that we've trained you because courage will not skip this generation. And so they are vowed to stand up and you'll hear from them this morning what they plan to do when they go back home. 